everyone how are you and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to this channel and you're seeing my face for the first time you are highly welcome my name is chineye and this is a jam to fans so subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified each time we post a new video like and share this video and share your thoughts on the comment section so we discuss pigry we equally discuss fishery and we discuss how to make a profitable venture from it all right now quick reminder if you're a livestock farmer rain is here oh. rain is here oh. precautionary measures so as to protect our farm from all forms of infection do you understand all right now without much further ado let's dive straight to the business of the day so today we are going to be looking at reasons why you should either use a concrete pond or tarpaulin pond for your catfish farming so farmers that are about starting their catfish farming business some of the questions we usually get from them is their choice of pond whether they should use concrete pond or even tarpaulin pond now for some of us that started with concrete pond and presently are doing it concurrently with tarpaulin pond if i'm in a good position to tell you which to go for okay one of the reasons why you should choose concrete pond in your cartridge farming business is is durability <coughs> now we all know that in constructing your concrete pond you should use make use of your your rod your cement and then blocks your stones which can even come as form of chippings so as to get a very solid pond okay for a long time for you okay so if you're about starting a very large scale and you want to choose and you want to do it for a very long time you can look at concrete pond all right another reason is that it helps to retain a particular temperature for a long time i do mean when the weather the temperature is very hot concrete pond can help to retain cool temperature for a long time when the temperature in turn gets cold concrete pond can help to retain a particular temperature do you understand and i'm sure you know that if you are the landowner if you are the landlord of course you don't have any risk you can you can construct your concrete pond or your has much capital to throw around why not you can you can construct your concrete pond okay without any fear of anything all right so these are the reasons why you can choose concrete pond in your cartridge farming business all right now the downside of concrete pond is the cost of setting it up now i mentioned the material you use to set up your concrete pond and you can agree with me that they're not cheap at all to set up one 12 by 12 standard uh, concrete pond you can use it to buy five sapolin ponds okay so that is it it is not cheap and number two is that as much as it's durable with time the water retention will start to drop okay and then you have to go ahead and start patching it start buying cement again to be patching this okay and then at the end of the day you find out that the the reason why you even choose it is no longer attainable okay so take a look at this fish farm as you can see a lot of money is being invested here due to the fact that these are concrete ponds now for the fact that there is an alternative to concrete pond in my opinion i feel that concrete pond is more of a waste of land now imagine the resource that went into building this when the owner wants to use this space for something else it simply means that he or she will also spend money to pull this down okay after spending a huge amount of money to set this up you will also have to spend money to pull it down and that is when he wants to use the space for something else apart from fish farming but with tarpaulin pond now the rain is here assuming you won't even want to go into farming probably short-term vegetable farming all you just have to do is to pack up your tarpaulin pond remember i said that you can even set up your tarpaulin pond 
in a place that is not cemented. So now that the rainy season is here and you feel like doing a short-term vegetable farming, you can just pack it up and do your thing. Cost of maintaining your concrete bond is just high. It's very high, okay? Now what if you're not even the landlord at all and you want to start up your catfish farming with tapolim pond? Does it make sense to you? Investing this this whole amount of money in someone's property doesn't make sense because when the landlord say Oga pack out, what do you do? You leave the property for Oga. How do you take it to your next location? So these are the downside of a uh, concrete pond. Now another reason is that what if you want to jabba? How do you take it to your next location? You don't consider this when you are a tenant, when you are not the owner of your property. All right. Let's move over to reason why you should you can consider your catapulin pond in your catfish farming business now why i'm talking about this catapulin pond i'm not talking about every other pond i'm talking about a very good quality reinforced tapolin pond i'm talking about the one i know of okay now this tapolin pond the tapolin pond one of the advantage of using tapolin pond to start up your catfish farming business is because of the affordability i just mentioned the things you use in construction of your concrete pond and i tell you they're not cheap okay they're not cheap at all okay? if you're just starting up your catfish farming business and you don't have much capital okay I advise you go for this because it's far more affordable okay now the next reason is that it's very cheap to maintain is very very cheaper to maintain okay i do mean you have a crack on your tarpaulin or there is any 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 leakage it can easily be fixed okay now take a look at this so this there is a crack here the tarpaulin it has a leakage and look at how we just fix this much running around so it's very cheaper to maintain than concrete pond okay look at the back can you see chicken now now the next reason is mobility now i'm sure that you know that tarpaulin pond is mobile you can dismantle this and then set it up elsewhere so i dream you are just starting up this farming and you're not really sure of what you want to do with money but you have a little capital to check out catfish farming you can close your eyes and buy this and then see how it goes if it's not something you can manage you can now just dismantle it and sell it off nothing is static or you eventually get tired of catfish farming and then you want to japa what do you do dismantle it and sell it off what if you stay in a rented apartment how are you going to set up a concrete pond in someone's property it's not done now so what do you do you just to get your tarpaulin pond which i've said earlier that is very affordable okay just to get a tarpaulin pond set it up i did a video on how to set up your tarpaulin pond set it up construct the inlet and outlet pipe and that's it tarpaulin pond is a movable pond because of the mobility you can as well consider tarpaulin pond cool weather Tarpaulin pond is your choice of pond. Why is that? Because it helps to retain heat. Like some of us know that fish is a cold blooded animal. So it helps to retain heat. It helps to keep the water warm. Okay? When the water is warm in a very cool weather, it helps to keep the fish. Again, about doing a catfish farming, in short of pond, you're not the owner of your property. You're not even sure if you can do this for a long time then tarpaulin pond is what i advise you go for okay don't forget that if you want to get your tarpaulin pond from us if you want to get your fingerlings if you need anybody to guide you in your catfish farming business you're just a call away i'm going to be leaving my contact on the description box thank you very much for some of us that reached out to me when i was away Thank you so so much for some of you that send me message on my email address. It took me a long time to check it out. That's why I'm leaving my number on the description box. Thank you for dropping by. Thank you for watching. My name is Chineye and this is a German fan. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. 
turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified each time we post a new video like and share this video and drop your question your opinion your observation down the comment section see you in my next video